fact, historical documentation and common sense, tell us how plants may have been more than just foods for our prehistoric ancestors. Records show that the use of herbal remedies for depression is dated back to 3000 BC. The history of the herbal antidepressants to be discussed show that depression is not just a modern problem. And, majority of them are still safe and active as they were back in ages. Thanks to a recent study by scientists from Pennsylvania University, which shows that herb used for centuries to survive the Siberian winters could treat depression better than conventional medicines. So, followings are some of the best. Magnolia Bark This herb has been used as antidepressant in Asia by the Chinese and Japanese for over 1,000 years. Recent research also confirmed magnolia is rich in two important biphenyl compounds, which are onochiol and magnolol. These phenolic constituents help regulate cortisol, the body's primary stress hormone. Recently, scientists conducted numerous animal tests to help show that magnolia may be beneficial in reducing stress and depression in humans. The animal studies so far conducted have shown magnolia bark has the potential to significantly reduce anxiety and depression. Most doses for magnolia are based on animal studies and ancient Chinese, who use magnolia bark in combination with a number of other pharmacologically active herbs and plants. However, the recommended dosage for magnolia bark extract is around 250 to 500 mg. Arctic Root The ancient plant is found mainly in cold regions of the world. And, it has been used for centuries in Russia and Scandinavia to cope with the cold, Siberian climate. The ancient Greeks and Chinese have also been using it to boost mental vitality. Arctic root is a top rated adaptogen, a natural substance that increases resilience to physical and emotional stress. And, it works by increasing the activity of brain chemicals that impact mood like serotonin. Rhodiola also stimulates the release of these good neurotransmitters, dopamine, and norepinephrine. Scientists found Arctic root has half the side effects and almost as effective as the widely used antidepressant drug, sertraline. According to the researchers, the extract from Arctic root is a promising potential therapy option for depression, a mental illness which affects about 350 million people around the world. Skullcap This powerful native North American plant is highly esteemed by many herbalists as nerve food for its ability to, to relax nervous tension in the body. It has been known to help ease hysterical states, lift depression, cure anxiety, epilepsy and insomnia. Suggested use, 1 2 teaspoon of herb per cup of boiling water, steeped for 10 to 15 minutes, and taken 3 times per day. Ginkgo biloba. This ancient Chinese herb for depression remains one of the most active and popular herbal remedies in the world. Recent findings show its wonders are not only limited to the improvement of memory, as it helps in increasing the turnover of the mood-elevating brain chemicals, dopamine and serotonin, and increasing blood flow to the brain. Just like rhodiola, ginkgo is also an adaptogenic herb, that lowers the levels of cortisol. St. John's Wort This ancient popular herb is one of the most effective ones, but must be taken with caution due to its side effects and interactions. St. John's wort works by optimizing the levels of certain neurotransmitters, particularly serotonin. This results in a more balanced emotional state, but must not be taken with antidepressants and birth control pills, because it can cause serotonin syndrome, a potentially fatal condition. Hyperacin, its active chemical has been found to be more effective for treating even severe depression than the prescription drug, paroxetine. Suggested use, 1 tablespoon of herb per cup of boiling water, 3 times per day. Thanks for watching. Please, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.